My name is Jonathan Demme, and I became a director because uh, I was obsessed with movies from my childhood on, and that led me into reviewing films for a campus newspaper and then a community newspaper. That led me into an opportunity to do publicity for a film company, Embassy Pictures. That was back in the 1960s. And then under those circumstances, I met Roger Corman and had the opportunity to be the unit publicist on a film he was making in Ireland in 1968 uh, or 69. And um, he was just starting a film company, uh, New World Pictures, and he needed screenplays. So Roger Corman said to me, well, um, you can write reviews and you can write publicity releases. Can you write a script? Because I need scripts. So I said, mm, I'd like to try. So I wrote a motorcycle movie a uh, script for Roger Corman, and then he said, okay, I can make this, would you like to produce it? So I said, sure, why not? And so I became a 24-year-old film producer, and I fell in love with making films uh, as much as I enjoyed uh, looking at them, and uh, that's the way it's been going ever since. Good luck. Good luck. Yes. Because I hear that a lot, and people seem to just fall into things or they meet the right person at the right time, and it sort of works out. Um, how did you actually meet Roger Corman? Well, I, um, he, Roger Corman was uh, making a film called Von Richthofen and Brown. Uh, and uh, uh, I was contacted by some people at United Artists who were the financiers and distributors of the film. And they said, Roger Corman needs a publicist. Can you go to Ireland um, to, to be the unit publicist and write the production notes and what have you? So I said yes and went over and met him. In fact, he asked me to write a, the screenplay in our first meeting. He was so desperately in need of scripts. He was stuck over in Ireland, and he needed scripts that would be set in America. I was an American in Europe, so even better luck.